Okay. After last day's spectacle about uh, paint, I think you can remember we have done just about, we have did some activities using paint. And that painted application that we have used AI, artificial intelligence, and uh, convert that uh, paint to more realistic and uh, like uh, expressive, realistic, and uh, likewise the interactive, different, different things. We have learned how to create interactive videos then all using prompt engineering and we have learned how to create arts and graphics using prompt engineering we have done about different different things okay so that is what we did the last day and today's lesson what we are going to learn is we will learn more about multimedia and how we can use uh, multimedia to create presentations as well as uh, interactive uh, again uh, not interactive but presentations and video presentations. That's what we are going to learn today. And two applications we are going to discuss mainly. One is uh, PowerPoint, uh, or we can uh, learn like Google Slides. Uh, the next one that we are going to learn is about uh, Canva. So those two applications we are going to learn, and we will be using these apps to do interactive and multimedia based presentations and also to compose multimedia based videos okay let's learn them now first of all i would like to start with uh, google slides and the first thing is you are going to create one slide related to yourself in the first exercise okay let me start uh, google slide and i will share the link with you and then you have to use one slide and uh, this that slide you will be using for use that slide you will be using to represent and uh, tell about yourself single slide is enough okay i will name the slide and uh, we have Omotia chaniru okay this slide is for chaniru That doesn't matter, you can use anything. Even using mobile phone, you can edit the slide. You have to download the slides app in mobile phone. So you can edit it without any doubt. So it doesn't matter whether you are joining using your mobile phone or using your computer or tab, it doesn't matter. You can do this, right? Okay. Excuse uh, me, sir. Yes. I just uh, hear very... Uh, my microphone or my, my audio wasn't that much uh, well last time. Uh, can you tell what do we need to do this? Slide? Need, okay, I will allocate slide. You need to tell, use that slide to tell about yourself. Insert your picture and okay, okay, tell how unique you are and when compared with the others, how unique you are, right? What's your name, your picture, and your uniqueness. Your name, your picture, and your uniqueness. If you are using mobile phone, you can download Google Slides, and so you can use the link, download the slides, and edit it. So the app that I'm using is Google Slides. I will share you the link now. Let's say students. I'll be sharing this with you now. I'll edit, give you the editing permission. The second slide, please, uh, Chaniru edit the second slide. Third slide, uh, Pramod can edit, Arosh can edit the fourth slide. So she's yet to join. Arosh, try to join little early, right? Arosh, please try to join little early, at least by 5.30. Try to join by 5.30, right? Okay, this is the link. I have shared you the link. Okay, I will allocate one slide to Arosh as well. What do you need to include? You need to include a picture of you. Okay, you need to include a picture of you. Then your name, write your name, then write your picture. Sorry, add your picture. First write your name, then add your picture. And third, you just tell how unique you are. 
when compared with, with the others. Right? When compared with the others, how unique you are. How unique you are when compared with the others. Please take a note. How unique you are when, com when compared with the others. Please describe that in your slide. Arosh can use his slide. Komodan can use his slide. Chaniru can use his slide. It doesn't matter whether you are using mobile also. You can edit this, right? Even in mobile, you can edit on phone. You can do that. Okay, now start doing this. I will give you uh, 10 minutes. Please do this now. Okay, let's add the uh, things further. So then the presentation skills like, you know now, so Google Slides, Google Slide is one of the basic thing that we are using for the presentation. So what we can do is we can create slides, we can add images, we can even add animation. We can add colors, background colors. If you want to add background color, you have to go to slide and there are something called change background, right? Slide, change background. And when you go there, you can add a background image or even background color there like this. Okay, you can you can do anything with that. Basically, slide menu, you have this change, uh, change background, change background. Okay, so that is what you need to do. Okay, let's add here, slide, change background. From that, even you can ima add image to your background. You can add image also. You can search Google. Okay, let's add uh, ba uh, slide background. I'm searching a slide background, same, same name slide background search and it will give me different 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 backgrounds i think i think i like uh, out of these backgrounds let's say i like uh, this then i can click and insert that will be added as the slide background you can see here now it is added as the slide background Likewise, you can add images also. You can add these images. Also. Okay. Let's say that Chaniru want to add a background. Now, all of you try to add background image. All of you try to add a background image. How? Slide. Change background. Then select image. And in the Google, here you have upload. You can upload webcam. You can take photos. And here you have link. Photos. Google photos. You can upload from there. And you can use Google Drive and you can even use Google Images. Use Google Images and search. Okay, search background. So do we, where do we have to go? And you will see a lot of background images. So where do you have like, to go? And add a nice background to your slide. Add a nice background to your slide. I will add, I will add this background to my slide. Inside. And you can see that sure. in your slide, like this. So where do we get the background from? Students, portfolio. So okay. where do we get the background Oh, don't background change theme. From? Somebody has changed the theme. Theme, if you change the theme, what will happen? You can undo, right, here? You can click undo. If you have changed the theme, just undo. Undo one time here. Accidentally, I think you have changed the theme. Who changed the theme? Change theme means here. In the slide, you have something called change theme. So if you have used that, don't worry. Undo it. Use one, one time, use undo. Then it will be, it will be revert back. Shaniru, is that you? Can you undo? Arosh, if is that yes, you, you can also undo. The, uh, the and also, Manas, okay. if you think it's yeah. you, you can also undo. It's not me. Yes, thank you. Now it's set up. Back. Now you can add the background. Don't change the theme. Theme means it will change everything, right? Go to slide. Change background. Change background only.
Um, I disconnected. How do you add the backgrounds? Manas, you can also change your background image. Go to sli uh, slide, change background. From that, choose image here. Choose image. From that, go to Google. Go to Google. From here, Google. Then search for backgrounds. B A C K D R O U N D. Background images. So background. Edit. Okay. Please do that. Manas, you found it or not? Tell me, right? If you have not found, please tell me. If you have not found, please tell me how to change that. I found it. Yes, good. If you have a dark background, yes, you have to change the font. And yeah, otherwise, like uh, it's not visible. No? So you can use light color font. How do you use light color font? If the background is dark, here you have the same problem. If your background is dark, you can use light color font. Okay, don't change the box. Box, of course, like this box, no need to change it, right? Box, you can say no fill. Here, transparent. Box is transparent, but only select the text. Select the text and then select from here. Where is the text? Text, text. Okay. Here, click on restrict. No, 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 Manas. No. Just listen. Not the same way. Don't change the box. The box is this. Box you make transparent, but select the font. Only the font. Click on these triple dots. And here's the font color. You can make it white. And that is visible now. Understood? Only the font. Don't change the box. Only the font. Okay, How? Sure. Select the font. Click on these triple dots. Then okay. select letter A here. Text color. Okay. From that you select. Okay. From that you select. For the heading also you can do the same. Click on the triple dots. Select here. Select a color, and if you need to highlight this triple dots, then bold it here. B bold, bold is basically highlight in the text. Okay, make make it more more appearing. Like make it more like make it nice. Change the colors and see which color suitable for you. Now change the color. Change the background, change the text, add a color. Okay, Thank please you, do this.
okay next is now you know how to add colors how to add background you know that and next is what you can do one more thing that is Okay, that is, uh, for your name, you add a word art. Right? For your name, don't just add a text. You try to add a word art. To do that, you can go to insert word art. Word art. Then type your name. Okay, for an example, I'll do in Kumud's work. I'll go to Kumud's slide. Okay. Insert word art. Then type the name, enter, and you can see here, okay, it generate nice art. And that is scalable. Instead of that, I'm using the particular word art, Kumud. Press enter. And here you can, after doing that, you can change various things, not just this style. You can click on these triple dots, format options, and you can change the position, size, shadow, reflection, position, drop shadow. You can change the reflection. Okay. Likewise, you can change different, different things. Here you can see it's reflected, right? It's reflected. The name is reflected. Why? Because if you go and add a reflection, you can see that there. Drop shadow. Okay. You can add shadows. Likewise, you can change. How to add that? Go to insert word art. Insert word art. Okay. Do this now, please. Please do this now. If you have any issues, please let me know. And finally, you need to add a link. I will tell how to do that. Okay, uh, finally, if you have done that, okay, Chaniru has added that, and Arosh added that, Manas uh, is currently changing it. Okay, do it. Add a word art, right? Go to insert, word art, word art.
Okay, then uh, let's add uh, your favorite subject. Maybe you can remember your score in the school. Three favorite subjects. Okay, what, what you're going to do is you're going to add that as a chart. Look, look, first look my screen because this is quite difficult. It's not the same as you think. Okay, so let's, I will add to Kumud's one. Go to insert chart from sheets. Insert chart. You can add this one also. Okay, insert chart, let's say bar. Insert chart bar. Okay, insert chart, bar chart. And then make it smaller. Okay, then what you need to do is you have to click on this link chart. Click on this link chart and open source. Here you have open source. Link chart, open source. And then change the source to something like this. Change the source to okay, the subject that you like. Sir, how do we edit it? Sir? Sir, how do we edit this? Okay, add chart like this. Now you can see, uh, actually, this is sample. Kumud like maths, ICT, but he is not, he don't like science much. And English is average. So likewise, you can add your score maybe. He's skilled in maths and ICT, but not that skilled in science. Sir, um, but English is something C. somewhat C. average. So it's a C, I'm not a he. Okay, do it now. You have to click on the chart, go to view source and you have to edit the source do it now
Okay. Uh, I can see Manas, you need to edit that, right? Here you have to go to the link chart. Link. You can see link triple yes, dot sir. and open the source. Okay. Link and open the source. Here the same thing in, uh, you need to rescale this. Scale down this first. Chaneru, scale down, then click on this and go open the source and edit it. Okay. It's not working. Arosh, are you there? Yeah, Arosh has done that. So yeah, I went to that one just uh, after it, um, they how just I really why not? So what do you do after that? I'm struggling with the internet connection. Uh, that's why I really can't uh, see your screen sometimes. But I so 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 you just anything it. I went to it and what chart did you choose? Finish. Please do this. Arosh has done that. Other two, please, you have to do this. Okay, good, Arosh. Umud will do this next day. Chaniru will do this. Uh, Chaniru needs to do this. Manas has to do this. So let's say you have to go and edit the... Open the source and edit it. Oh, this is uh, your one, right? I can't access because it's created by Manas. Manas has to access and change it. I can't change this. Uh, what about you? Oh, no, like it's not working. Like, Same, I think Chanel is one also. I cannot change. Yeah, that I can change. For some reason <laughs> that I can change. Okay. It's not working. Okay, anyway, try try to change. Try to change that. Sir, excuse me, sir. Did you change it by the bar that. format? Okay, next is... Uh, the options are coming to right. like for me. So how can you save this? You can save this by going to file, download. And you can download this as PowerPoint. Or you can download this as a PDF. Or even as images. You can download as images. You can download as PowerPoint. You can download as PDF. Go to file menu. Go to download. And then select the format that you need and you can download it okay before we wind up i just need to tell you one more app right before we wind up i just need to tell you one more app that you can use for your presentation that is canva so let's copy and paste the same I thing into canva. canva for like work i, I will share canva. the slide let's copy and paste the same thing into canva I always use Canva. Same way you can sign using Google. Mobile phone, you can use mobile phone also.
you can add image there, Chaniru. And who's there? Arosh is also there. Uh, uh, just are you sending uh, a link or how to edit that? Okay, I will share this. Please do this. Please copy and paste your details from the presentation to this one. Okay. Okay, I have sent you the link. I have sent you the link. Please access and change the content. This is another software that you can use to do the work. Add your picture and also add description. Okay, finish. Okay, uh, since you are doing this, you will take much time. So you have to take time. Do this, right? By next week, I will check this. Please complete this by next week. Okay, then. Good night. Good night, sir. Thank you very much.